Now, for a promotion where you're going to boost your company image, the name of the game when it comes to social media is engagement. How will you let your social media connections interact with your brand? Canon's image campaign with Andre Agassi was really cool in the early 90s. But can you imagine if customers see on some level? That's one key benefit social media offers. The exemplar here is, the old spi is Old Spice, of course, which let customers ask questions of the Old Spice guy for two days last July, and then produce these great video responses to those questions. How might you run a promotion like this? Well, let's say your company is about to merge with another company, or is going through some major service revisions, and you don't want to lose your good company image as a result. What if you offered customers a way to engage with your CEO via social media? by announcing that your CEO was going to answer questions via your Facebook page or Twitter feed at a given time. When your customers get to engage with you online, they come to realize that your company cares about them and that real people are there on the other line wanting to build relationships. Whether it's a relationship being built with a fun fictional character like the old Spice Guy or a real person like your CEO, engagement is the name of the game when it comes to image-based social media promotions. And finally, if the goal of your promotion is to get feedback, the customer benefit is that they get to have a voice, and you may want to entice them with a prize also. We've all gotten emails from companies we use asking us to fill out a survey about the company and promising us a chance to win a prize if we do. Now, depending on what you want feedback for, giving customers a chance to express themselves, to make their voices heard, may or may not be enough by itself. For instance, if you are uh, letting people creatively name a new product, or trying to get ideas for which community programs you should support, which is something that's near and dear to people's heart. Those things are probably interesting enough to get people to give you their feedback just so they can be heard. But if you're looking for a full review of your customer service, or something that involves some time, thought, and opinion on the part of your customers, you probably want to consider offering a prize as well, something that sweetens the deal or says thank you for the time. This could be a drawing to win something, a $5 gift certificate, just, just something small that says we understand that it takes time to offer your feedback. So that's step two, picking the customer benefit you'll use to draw people in. The next step is to consider your audience. Who is going to be most likely to respond to the offer you're putting out? Again, this depends on the type of promotion you run. For a sales-based promotion, it's likely that you're going to be focused on new leads first of all, and then secondarily existing customers as well. The reason I say this is that the primary way to actually sell products on Facebook, particularly since I keep talking about the necessity of not overselling, is through Facebook ads. And if you're running Facebook ads for your social media promotion, you're going to reach a lot of people who aren't already connected to you and you're going to be introducing them to your company via the great product and special offering you're inviting them to buy into. So primarily you'll look at leads, secondarily at existing customers. For a promotion to gain likers, that equation will probably be reversed, and you'll probably go for your existing customers first, and maybe secondarily worry about leads or people unfamiliar with your company. The reason for this order of priority is that your customers are a much more likely group of people to like you than leads are, because customers already have a relationship with you. They already know about the products and services you offer, they already have benefited from what you do, and hopefully they've been happy with you, so they are far more primed to take that extra step of liking you than leads who don't know your company from Adam. So with a promotion to gain likers, you're looking at customers first, then leads. Now for an image campaign, you're probably equally hoping to reach customers and leads. This depends a bit on what type of image campaign you run. If you want people who haven't heard about you to think your company is cool, or you want your existing customers to be happy with their choice, you're going to run a campaign that focuses on both types of people. That's exactly the type of image campaign that Old Spice did to bolster their brand with the Old Spice guy, because it appealed both to customers and to leads. But if you're doing an image campaign to make sure people who are already with you stick with you during a transition, like in the fictional example I gave a minute ago of letting customers engage with your CEO during a time of change, that obviously is going to be much more geared toward just your customers than toward leads. So your audience for an image campaign depends a bit on what type of image campaign you're doing, but in general it can involve either customers or leads. And finally, for a promotion where you're going to try to get feedback, you're almost always going to be focused just on your customers. It's possible that you may want to do a bit of research to find out what your leads think of or have heard of your, your company. But if you do that, it's much more likely that that's going to take the form of a phone survey than a social media promotion. 
In other words, the social media promotion to gain feedback is almost always going to be based on your customers' opinions because those are the people you've already connected with. So that's step three, just figuring out who you should be focusing on. And that takes us naturally into step four, which is how you're going to do all of this. What tactics will you use to get the offer you're providing to the audience you've chosen, all in the service of reaching the goal you've determined? Well, as you might guess, that too depends on what type of promotion you're doing. Now, no list of tactics is going to be exhaustive or complete, and you can and should let your imagination go wild when you're thinking about how best to carry out these promotions. But what I'll talk about here is the tactic or tactics that are likely to be at the top of your list for each of our four types of promotions. For a sales promotion based in social media, as I said a minute ago, this will happen most, most likely happen through a tool like Facebook ads. You can and should mention your sales promotions on your Facebook page, but you should do it rarely and cleverly so that you're not overselling. For instance, it's poor form to post, call now to purchase our new Christmas product, and much better to post something gentler and more personable like, Christmas is coming. What are your favorite family traditions? If you're looking for a new way to spend the holidays, give us a call. So yes, do mention your sales promotions on your Facebook page in a relevant and interesting way. But a sales promotion through social media will primarily happen through targeted Facebook ads, where you're reaching out to people in your particular area or interested in your, or, excuse me, or interested in your particular products or of a particular age or however you want to do that targeting. Facebook ads and other similar services on other social media sites will let you get the word out about the new products or services you want to sell in a way that is accepted within the social media world. In other words, ads are expected to try and sell something in a way that posts and status updates aren't. Let me say that again. Ads are expected to try and sell something in a way that posts and other status updates aren't. So targeted Facebook ads is your most likely tactic for a sales promotion. Now, for a promotion, promotion to gain likers, you're likely to start by letting your customers know through customer communication that you have this promotion and what the incentive is for them to come and like you. And that is that emphasis on customer communication is because, as I said a minute ago, uh, the primary emphasis for who your audience is for this kind of promotion is customers themselves. You may also want to get the word out via ads of all kinds, including print ad, radio ads, online ads like Facebook ads, and so on. How far your reach is for a promotion to gain likers will depend a bit on what your company is and what your goals are. If you're a new company trying to introduce yourself to the world, your reach will be as wide as possible. If you are a localized company and you're trying with a very specific geographic region like so many of our telecommunications clients, you may be more likely to just get the word out to your customers and give them a reason to come and, and connect with you via social media. Now for an image campaign, you're likely to use social media itself as the medium to carry out the campaign. Social media allows for customer engagement on a different and far more personal level than things like press releases or advertising, which in the past have been the traditional way to run an image campaign. So when you run an image campaign, your tactics will probably involve using social media to its maximum extent, letting customers ask you questions or reach out to you via social media and responding in kind. Again, think of how Old Spice carried this off letting social media sites do what they do best and connect the company with their customers, resulting in a huge boost for their brand. And finally, a promotion to get feedback is most likely to happen via customer communication. And social media comes into play here by letting you reach your most loyal and closest customers easily, the customers who have publicly acknowledged their support of you by liking you through social media and who are reading your daily posts. You can reach out to these people easily via social media and then give them a good reason to give you their thoughts and opinions. So just to review, the four main steps of social media promotions are start with the end. Know where you're going and set your goals before you start. Then pick the carrot you're going to dangle in front of your customers. Define the customer benefit that is going to make people want to take part in your promotion. Third, consider your audience. Think about who is most likely to respond well given the type of promotion you're running. And lastly, come up with and define the tactics that will get you to your goal. So those are the four steps, and uh, now I think we're, we're ready to, for some questions. Uh, so if you want to type in those questions, you can. Uh, there's one question that's popped up here. Uh, what do you think about using cash or a Visa card as an incentive? Uh, and uh, the, the uh, additional part of that question is, does giving away money seem sleazy or anything like that? Uh, 
I don't think so. Uh, I think my answer to that would be no. Certainly a, v a Visa gift card uh, is the sort of thing that, I mean, that's the sort of respectable way of just handing people cash, right? Uh, a Visa gift card can be used anywhere that Visa is accepted, and it's basically like a, a gift certificate to any of those places. Uh, so certainly using a Visa gift card as an incentive is a great idea. Uh, and that's something that's easier to uh, give out to people than just cash that you may not want to be sending through the mail. But even something like, you know, I mean, I could imagine a social media campaign uh, where you are, um, you know, inviting people for, you know, you could run a social media campaign called Catch the Bennies, right, uh, where uh, you ran a contest to uh, come up with a new product offering and the winner uh, would get to, you know, get to their, their opportunity to win two or three or five, uh, you know, brand new Benjamin Franklin $100 bills. Uh, I mean, you know, there are ways to play around with that. If you're just saying, uh, hey, we're going to give you some cash if you do this, that could be a little sleazy. Uh, but I think in general, it's, it's not a bad thing. It all depends on sort of on how you do it. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. As always, the webinar slides will be available on our Facebook page, and you can see the address for that. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, there is one thing that, that I was going to have uh, Dave talk about really fast. Oh, let, yeah. me, let me do that really quickly. Yeah, before you jump off, I think you'll like uh, this. Uh, one of our social media clients came to us and talked about the challenge of finding content and, and, and looking for uh, resources. And they, they had the idea of, of Pivot providing content that could be used. So we explored that, and, and uh, we started that down that road with something called the Pivot Post Service. And there are two to three new posts every day that get placed in, uh, into a, a, a permissions-only Facebook page. And uh, so that you can grab those and use those. And this client has loved it. They've really been using it a lot. So what we wanted to do is make it available to anybody on today's webinar. If you want to try it out, no strings attached. We'll let you try that for 30 days. What we'll do is basically give you uh, the opportunity to go and look at, all, at the history and look at all the daily posts, and you're free to use it with no, at no charge for the, for over the course of a month. And uh, it's not one of those things where it's first month free. It, uh, we really actually would love to get you our input on it. So um, take advantage of that. It's, uh, it's going to be worth a lot, and, and again, we would value your feedback. So if you want to uh, try the Pivot Post service, we'll have the after webinar survey. You can um, just put a note in that, or we'll have a question in there. Or, or email Ian or myself, and again, uh, no charge for that uh, to try it out. Thanks, Dave. Uh, and you can see uh, here on this slide, if you do want to uh, send me an email uh, about, about that service to, to get that 30-day uh, trial period, uh, my email address is there. Just shoot me an email. Uh, if you think about it, include the email address that you use for your Facebook account, and I will go ahead and, uh, and send you an invitation to join that page. Um, that is it for now, uh, for real this time. Uh, the next Straight Talk on Social Media webinar is going to be Friday, November 19th. That's a three-week break from today instead of our normal two weeks. We did some juggling because of the Thanksgiving holiday coming up. Uh, so the next webinar will be in, uh, in three weeks on Friday, November 19th. The focus topic is going to be social media in the sports world, uh, where we're looking at how some professional sports team use social media and what lessons small businesses can learn from those. And uh, you can also see the next date of the Straight Talk on Telco Marketing webinar with Dave. Uh, that's on Tuesday, November 30th at 11 a.m. Those webinars are usually on the final Wednesday of the month, but since in November that would put it the day before Thanksgiving, we've gone ahead and moved it to the final Tuesday. Uh, so join us the week after Thanksgiving for that one on November 30th. Uh, finally, uh, as, as I said before, our email addresses are there if you have any questions for us. Otherwise, that's it for today. Uh, thank you so much for attending, and remember to keep your media social and your talk straight.